Hi, Kirsten. How are you doing today? I'm doing well. Yeah. So welcome to the GCF conference. Maybe you can just uh, give us a quick overview of your company, Hydrograph. Sure. So Hydrograph is a graphene production company. And effectively, what we do is we explode hydrocarbon gases. So we use acetylene and oxygen. We pump them into a steel chamber. We ignite that mixture with a spark from an electrode. And if you can imagine a puff of smoke crystallizing, that's the graphene that we're able to produce with that synthetic method. And most of the interest is really with uh, defense contracting companies. Okay, so let's talk a bit about some of your recent uh, developments. So one of the things is you have the peer review studies recently, mm -hmm. some of the things like, like toxin removal. Maybe you can talk about how these studies are going to be influencing your um, uh, commercialization of your product, the planning. Sure, so that's a great question. I would say that our strategy is not changing. We're still very focused on composites and coatings to drive towards near-term revenue. We probably get new results, I would say, almost every week, at least uh, multiple times a month. So we see this more as opening doors for the future. It could be future partnerships, future areas, um, but we're still very focused on near-term revenue. Great to hear. And you also expanded your U.S. operation and moved your new uh, headquarters to Texas, uh, Austin. Mm -hmm. So can you tell us how this is going to uh, impact you in terms of your, your next phase of expansion? Yes, um, that's very exciting for us. So with Austin, we are really opening up this um, massive new talent pool. As a you know technical company, we do require additional engineering talent and we'll also be continuing to build out our C-suite. So the Austin headquarters is going to have that corporate presence with some of the kind of control system availability for us to remotely monitor any future facilities. And then we're going to be opening a large scale production facility in Texas that we will be announcing very soon. Great. And obviously, with your company becoming, you know, getting close to commercialization, team is important. Can you tell us a bit about your, your team or your, you know, your governance, how this is going to lead uh, to us and to the next stage of your growth? Yes, um, we have made quite a few changes. We've really um, vastly improved our board in preparation for a NASDAQ uplist that we're targeting for Q1 2026. And as mentioned, we're going to continue to hire for our engineering talent and also to build out the rest of the C-suite um, with a very strong focus on Austin. So what was sort of the competitive advantage that you have, uh, Hydrograph has, compared to other similar, mm -hmm. so, you know, in the graphene space? So I think it's pretty simple in terms of material performance. We um, are proven, I think, definitively to have the highest performing material in the industry. I also believe we're the most graphene-like um, material in the industry because no two graphenes are really the same. So not only are we the highest performing, but what we hear from industry partners, from customers, is we're the most transparent. We issue the most data we um, you know, disclose every metric basically that we receive on our data sheets. And because we share so much um, with the public market, we believe that's built a lot of trust. And in the summary, let's talk a bit about your share price. You've mm -hmm. gained quite a, quite a lot in the last uh, few months. Your performance is quite well. Mm -hmm. Do you believe this is still undervalued? You still have a lot of re-rate or growth potential for investors considering investing into Hydrograph? Absolutely. I would say we're very lucky to have um, increased our visibility. We've taken on a number of very large shareholders just in the past few months, and now we finally have institutional buying. So that really has um, shaped the company, but I still think the best days are ahead of us. We have yet to announce our first large uh, commercial contract. And because we do have so many upcoming catalysts, even um, this year and certainly throughout 2026, we are absolutely due for another re-rating. Great. Uh, mm -hmm. Thank you for your time here with us, uh, Kristen. Thank you. Thank you.